What's up everybody, Blue Gabe here. Tonight we're doing something totally different, totally crazy, something that we've never done. We got lucky the other night and caught some crazy freshwater prawns. Tonight we're gearing up with the right gear, the right headlights. Last night when we caught them, we didn't even have a dip net. So this time we have a dip net and we're heading after prawns. First, I'll show you all these big ones that we caught the other night. We just went out and got a tank for them, set it up today. Y'all look at this. Look at that big one. Let me. See. Look how big he is. I mean, it doesn't even look like normal. Looks like some kind of alien creature. Now, I know in some countries, these prawns are perfectly normal, but here, this is a non-native species from what I can tell. So we're gonna go try to catch some tonight and do a catch, clean, and cook freshwater prawn, Florida style. All right, y'all, I know this lighting's horrible. We've been here exactly one minute and already found a big prawn. We're gonna slip into water and show y'all how to catch him. Oh yeah, I got him. Look at this big one. Oh yeah. Oh. Look how big he is. This is about the fourth or fifth one we've seen. But for some reason tonight, they're way more skittish than they were. Let's go put him in the truck. And we'll keep hunting. All right, we're on like four oh, of them. Those are already, oh, I see him. He's up under that rock though. They all just scooted in that rock. Are they males or females? I got him. All right, shrimp number two. There's another big one right under this. Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. Oh, we got to get this one, Jake. Crap. He shot way up under there. That joker went way under there. Let's walk down to the truck and regroup now that we know where they're at. Good, because I got to go get some bug spray out of the truck. All right, y'all, well, you just saw us catching. The lighting was horrible. Look how big these things are. We only got two, but let me tell you something. We saw some mega giants. We're going to just try to figure out how to go back and get them. In the meantime, I'm going to put these in here with ours. And a couple of my good friends want a breeding pair. This is a male, and that's a female. Put him in there, Jake. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, this is the one I'm worried about. Because him and a unnamed soldier over here, this guy, might get into it. Look how big their claws are. I mean, it looks like an alien creature. Hello. Look, he can't even move them. They're so big. All right. So now that we got the prawns in the tank settled in. I just got home from Louisiana a couple weeks ago red fishing and I did not do an intro out there. It just the weather wasn't right, the fishing wasn't right, but we caught some giants. I don't have enough footage to make a prawn show. So I'm gonna put on some of this red fishing show and just hope to God that y'all enjoy and still give me those positive comments and all that positive love. Y'all watch this. What's up everybody? I'm here in Venice, Louisiana. Mr. Winston, the owner of Favorite Rods, sent me this little summit rod said Gabe try to break it see what it's capable of so that's what I'm doing we've already caught multiple big redfish bunch of trout but now we're trying to catch a bull red something big something over 15 pounds so y'all stay tuned and let's see if we can get it done
Ik wil nog ook weer. I thought you said he was little. Oh. That's only 10 pound fish. It's a catfish. Big tail cat. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's the biggest one of the trip. Dude, that's a giant. That fish is way bigger than the one yesterday. Giant. Oh. All right, just turning loose. Thank you. <laughs> All right, y'all, that was pretty crazy last night. I know the footage wasn't that you know, great because it was dark and we didn't have a backup light for the GoPro. Jake was filming my nine-year-old. But hey, we did what we had to do. I'm back here where we caught them and I'm gonna show you all a little bit in the daylight where these giant shrimp are living and how they get up underneath these rocks. But first I wanted to take a second and go over the red fishing trip. So I haven't had a chance to tell a lot of y'all a little bit about my story. My brother obviously is deer meat for dinner, Robert Arrington, and I've been wanting to do YouTube for a while. But to be honest with you, as you've seen in the, you know, the lobster and show, I was completely camera shy, like horribly camera shy. I bought all the gear, did everything, got everything ready, and then just stalled out, got nervous. Went out to Louisiana. The fishing was pretty darn good, but I just wasn't there mentally. I got relatively good footage, but I didn't do much talking. I just, I sort of got stove up. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know if y'all would like watching it. That's why I wanted to take a little bit of that footage and put it in this video, just to show y'all, you know, some footage that I really like, but wouldn't fit in anywhere else really. So that's why I did that. Back to the prawns. I'm gonna get in here real quick and show you the rock. The last one you saw me where I was digging my hand up underneath there was right here in front of me. I guess they've dug little burrows and got little holes just like our lobster do. They get up underneath these rocks and I thought I could just reach in there and catch them and nope, they scooted out. This little ditch is tiny, it's 200 yards long. Uh, six foot wide and it's full of these shrimp but last night most of them put the jag slip on me I mean I thought I could catch them and they just disappeared so right here is that rock last night when you saw me up underneath there I got in there had the shrimp I could see them but went to catch them and they shot back into that deep little hole I'm sure most of y'all know but a shrimp's eyes glow red when you shine them with the light I learned that Back in the shrimping show we did a couple months ago with deer meat. We had Q-beams, we'd shine out in front of us and you'd see their eyes coming. So when I found these shrimp, I said, maybe I should take a headlight. Came here and bam, there they were. Well, catching them wasn't that easy. I mean, this, this little ditch is full of life. Minnows, look at that big cichlid. Last night, there was the biggest one I had seen yet was right there in that rock. Look at the minnows coming out of there. Just a crazy little ditch, that's all it is. All right, well, I wanna give a huge shout out to all of y'all that shared my lobster video this year. 
It's Sunday morning, four days after I uploaded, and it's already over 200,000 views. That's just mind-blowing to me. I want to give each and every one of y'all a huge thank you that took your time to share it and watch it and like it and leave awesome comments. I'm only going to try to get better. I'm going to keep trying to grow. I'm going to keep buying new equipment to help better this channel. But just like I normally say, all good stories got to have an ending. And right now, this is the ending. Until next time, we gone.